Thank y'all right. for joining us today. Good um, morning. Good morning. Afternoon, evening. Yes, whatever, whatever, whatever time are. it is where you are. Thank you for joining us. My name is Troy. This is Jasmine. My lovely wife, Jasmine. And um, today our topic of discussion is uh, why we denounce the, uh, our fraternity and sorority. Um, yeah. I was once an alpha, and uh, Jasmine was once uh, a delta. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, God just kind of moved on our hearts to kind of let that go. And uh, we want to share with you all um, why. So we believe yeah. that it's strategic that you clicked on what you clicked on and that you're here listening to us now. Um, God doesn't make any mistakes. So we believe that this time is strategic and um, God will minister uh, through us to you in this time. And um, so we thank you once again for joining us. Many questions can come from about um, with fraternities and sororities. Many just um, it's like the elephant in the room, you know, questions like, is the fraternity evil or is the sorority evil or, or something, you know, something ain't, something ain't right. Or, you know, should Christians or people who, um, believe in God and believe in Jesus, should they join these organizations and should they partake in these organizations, um, in the festivities that these organizations do, you know, fraternities and sororities do a lot of good. Um, but, and so many, so, so many, many things, topics, so and, many you know, things. things can come about from um, this type of discussion. So what we want to do is just simply share with you what God has put on um, our hearts yeah. to share with you. We feel this is an assignment. Absolutely. So first we're going to um, start and open up with prayer. And, and we'll open with prayer and um, before we close our video, we'll close with prayer as well. So um, join us in prayer. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for another day. Thank you that everything that you're doing um, is strategic and, and designed, Lord. So as we're on assignment here, God, we ask that you just um, uh, open us up. And we ask that you open up the hearts and the ears of the people who um, you sent to click on this page, Lord. So we thank you um, for just you being strategic and you loving us enough, God. Lord, we, um, we just trust you and everything help us to understand as we facilitate these discussions that uh, we don't know it all God so we're trusting you and we're trusting your voice so Holy Spirit guide us yes, in God. what we say yes. guide us in what we think guide us in what we do and um, you know just let us be an example and a blessing to you Lord so your name gets all the glory the honor and the praise we pray for the person who clicked on and who joined us now God that you would just um, bless them and speak to them in a way in which only you yeah. can God help us as we facilitate as well to understand that it's not our job to cast judgment on anybody it's not our job to try to fix or transform mm -hmm. anybody God mm -hmm. it's not our job to you know just um, think that we know it all God because we don't yeah. so we're trusting you and um, we just trusting to hear from you God and we thank you for what you're going to do um, today Lord in Jesus name we pray in and Jesus ask these name. things Lord Amen, Amen. Amen. So that's our opening prayer, and um, you know, Jazz, you wanna right. kind of oh. get started or sure. What, what's sure. what's on the topic of discussion? So we're gonna start. Of course, you all know that we're here to the talk to talk about the question why. Why did we denounce a, um, a few people mm. came to us um, once we made it publicly known that um, you know we were leaving our sororities and fraternities. You know, a lot of people came up to us and was just like, you know, well, why? Yeah. You know, well, why? And honestly, it just took us some time yeah. to just meditate with yeah. God, um, study our word and pray, yeah. talk to one another, yeah. um, and, you know, make actually come to this day to make this video to actually right. explain our own testimony, you know. So, um, it's honestly. It's been a whole year now, right? It's been a year yeah, since, since we've we denounced. Denounced. A year um, and some change. And hasn't been easy you know oh, and yeah. I, I mean i'm gonna start with start with that i mean it has not been easy at all um but the blessing of it is that we do have each other yeah and um i just thank god for my husband and um honestly the reason why we denounce it, it starts with you yeah it's, yeah it, it so starts um with him. so jazz and i <laughs> we've been married for three years now and um and we have one baby girl. Don't make it and, ten hours. And um of a story. <laughs> don't make it ten hours. Don't yeah, make I it could, ten hours. I, I could be long winded. Yes. But alright, so we've been married for three years now. And mm -hmm. um one day um last year, around this time actually, or a few probably a few yeah, weeks before well, this, mm -hmm. we went to a wedding of, of at the time one of my frat brothers. And um mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. at his well, his wedding was on a Sunday. Right. So right. of course we went to church and um 
during the service, that service was special in itself yeah. because the yeah. message, what I remember from that <laughs> message or that sermon that Bishop preached was, um, you know, maybe you need to ask God what you need to snip, snip away from snip, your life and snip. basically cut out your life. So I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's interesting. So then we go to the wedding and, um, you know, at, at fraternities and sororities weddings, yeah. there's rituals and, 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 um, I wouldn't call it a ritual. Well, yeah, there's rituals that you do like traditions yeah, and, tradition. and things and stuff that you do. And one of the things that the alphas would do was, um, during, during the wedding, um, of course you'll party hop, you'll step and you'll circle up and you'll sing around the bride. Yeah. Now, in this particular time, like, usually I would always be like, um, you know, I'm not saying the prayer, um, cause there's prayers and certain uh -huh. things that you say, and I'd be like, I'm not saying the prayer or I'll substitute something in the prayer and I'll say Jesus. For example, the prayer, the, the Alpha prayer, and this is public, right. Um, right. the Alpha prayer would say, Oh Lord, may the true spirit of fraternity rule our hearts, guide our thoughts, and control our lives so that we may become through these servants of all. Amen. And when I first joined and I heard that, I'm like, uh, I'm a little suspicious of whether I'm going to say this. So I will always substitute, substitute and say, right. may the true spirit of Jesus or may the yeah. true spirit of Christ rule our hearts because I don't want no spirit of anything other than Christ right. ruling my heart or controlling right. my life. Right. You know, right. so that, that, and a lot of things would always like, will come up that, a lot of things that would come up would be red flags and it's like, oh, let me see what my LB going to say. Or let me see what my line sister's gonna say. All right, that was a little weird. So you oh, know, yeah. just be real. Like that was a little weird, but I'm gonna off. brush it off. I'm gonna just, you know, we're gonna go through it because we're gonna cross together. So um, at the wedding, um, you know, for some strange reason, I said Still the prayer. Said the prayer. And I said the original prayer, and instantly, like we had party hop, and then we circle around and, and we sung the hymn, and we said said the prayer, and mm -hmm. I instantly got convicted. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> he comes back to me because I'm sitting at, the table, sitting at the table, and he comes back to me, and he's like, oh, I shouldn't have did it. I shouldn't have did it. And I'm like, I know you did not say that prayer. And he was like, I, I did. He's like, I did. And then, and then I was you, like, no. Then you asked me, you was like, well, who y'all praying to? I said, who y'all praying to? <laughs> and he was like, he was just like frantic. And honestly, that was you know, conviction. that was. That was one of the one of the times, and just to kind of rewind, like when we got married in 2016, I will never forget. Like, of course, we were still in our organizations, and of course, everyone circled up around me, right? So, mm. at our wedding, at our wedding, yeah. Yeah. and um, I remember when the alphas surrounded me. They're locked up, about to sing their songs and say their prayer, and. Prior to our wedding, we all we had always had this conversation, so we had made it a uh, um, uh, uh, a truce one with one another. Like you better not say that prayer. So like the day of our wedding, I'm sitting in a chair and he's standing right up like behind me. And I remember, I remember looking up at him <laughs> while they were saying that prayer. And they all know. like locked up and their eyes are closed. Are the the brothers some some closed? Okay, some, some eyes are yeah. closed or whatever. But we had like our whole intimate moment. And I'm sitting here and I'm looking at him like, "You better not." And he sure enough won't. He was, was like, right. and then one of my brothers came up to me and um and he was he like, realized? "You don't know the prayer, yeah?" Oh, he, he said like, you, you don't, don't know, know it, yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, I know it. I'm, I'm just not." I said, "You I'm better not, not say that prayer." That. And that was always meant something that I'm like, "I'm not," because it's just a red flag for me. I'm like, you know. Yep. So um so that was that was so that happened Those at the wedding right yeah. so it, it, that I mean that alone kind of like when you have to substitute Jesus mm -hmm. in the in in the place of something that um you're saying um that's not what it's originally you know laid out to be mm -hmm. it's like oh uh, yeah you know I mean when you're in undergrad you are hyped up I mm -hmm. mean you got picked I mean you're not you. you that inner spirit is talking to you, trying to tap you on your shoulder, but you're too busy. You're too busy. You try to, you're, you're trying to it. get lit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You're yeah. not really paying him any mind. So that was just one of the things that kind of stuck with us. And mm -hmm. honestly, sometimes that's just enough. Right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it can go so much deeper, but I mean, I feel like 
that that was one of the things that really stuck to us. Absolutely, and and you know, of course, during our college days, like we're not really focused too much on pleasing the spirit. It's college, like we like yo, like oh, it's a turn up here, it's a turn up there, you know. So it's college. It's yeah. like that's what it's for, <laughs> and times. and yeah, good times, and um and you know, so we're not as we grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. um, and as we started to get a little bit more mature, and this is what we, this is where we were in our spiritual walk at the time. Right. You know, um, when that happened at the wedding, my whole, the rest of the night was really like messed mm -hmm. up. Like I just wanted to leave, and, and we this ended is the up the wedding of his friend. Right. He realized. Right. This. I'm like, yeah, this ain't. And I, I remember telling you at the table, I'm like. Bishop said today, what well, we need to snip, snip. I'm like, I'm cutting that off, yeah. <laughs> you know. And of course, we say stuff and then we don't move on it. Ooh. So the next morning, um, it was on me so heavy. Like I woke up early that morning, and um, and I prayed, and I asked God. I said, God, what do what do I need to yeah. you know, cut out we of my life? We both said that prayer. Yeah. We both, and um, I made a previous video separately by myself, and um, I, I I had a video where it was like. I was explaining that I had a conversation with God, like asking, mm. what is it, God? Yeah. Because at this point, I don't know what else, I, I mean, I don't know what else that you want me to let go. And when you pray prayers like that, it's just important to be open enough yes. to receive the answer yes. from God. Yes. And it wasn't an easy answer. Yes, it won't. Because I, I said, I remember, I said, God, what you need me to, what you want me mm. to cut from my life? Like, what's hindering me? What's, what's something that spiritually, yeah. like, just stopping me or blocking yeah. me right now yeah. and yeah. um you know i pray and i just sat there for probably 10 15 20 more minutes in silence just to hear from god because oftentimes we'll pray mm -hmm. and we don't listen for what god is saying we'll just pray and just get up and go instead of taking the time to listen, listen. to hear what it is that god wants to say so wow. i listened and it was yeah. just so clear like you need to cut that fraternity and i'm like like why like no nah, like it ain't no nah. i'm like you know i know i've been feeling my convictions and throughout those throughout that 20 minutes god started to give me flashbacks and 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 visions of stuff that we that i did that was spiritual that i may have not, I not even know. realized you know at the time so <laughs> what's up man <laughs> so you know at the time i'm like um I'm like God is just He was showing me things that 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 was spiritual yeah. that I'd done yeah. that I didn't even realize had a spiritual implication to it. So um, you know I had a lunch break and it was an hour and a half lunch break. And during that time I really ain't have nowhere to go. So um, and I already had food. So I'm like I'm gonna eat and you know I'm gonna just just kind of try to start figuring out why God wanted me said why God said that to me this morning. And yeah. God led me to a video, and um, it was on YouTube, of course, and it was um, of a pastor, and he just kind of just was just talking about fraternities and sororities, and and it just connected with my spirit, because I've seen many different videos on YouTube of, of <laughs> yeah, many different plenty. people. It's plenty, you <laughs> it's know, plenty out and there. it's like, oh, but, oh then they, and this particular video connected yeah. with my spirit. And and you know it just made me move instantly. Um, so you know I get I get back home and I tell my wife I'm done. Like I'm out I'm out of Alpha. You know I shared with her the video. Um, I text the link to her so she can watch it. And I'm like I'm done. I'm 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 denouncing and and I'm going public today because God <laughs> revealed what it is that He revealed to me. God told me this morning what He wanted me to cut out my life. And you know I'm like I'm done. And and immediately, once I told her that I was done, I wanted her to be done as well. Like, I wanted her to be like, oh, yeah, okay, I got you. So you done, and I'm done. So I started to kind of force what God was dealing with me upon her. And then God was like, you can't, you can't force that upon her. That's not your job. Your responsibility is to do what I told you to do. And my responsibility is to work on her. Ooh. And, and, and that he did. Yeah, and so <laughs> I kind of just... Like, all right, God, you know, because yeah, once God revealed on, something to you, fire. yeah, I'm like, I'm done. Because once God revealed it to me, and, and that's not every time, like, but, like, it's not always just move. Some stuff is harder than, than it mm -hmm. is, but mm -hmm. the warning signs was there before. And, like, like I said, during that prayer time, God started to just reveal flashbacks to me of 
why the undergrad process and, and the, the pledge process when we was online didn't fall through or mm -hmm. you know God just started to reveal so much and it was like I was ignoring those red flags and once I graduated I just still wanted to be down so bad that it was just like like wow and you know. once I received the link from Troy um, about the video uh, I actually watched it and it was a pretty um pretty long video and I mean he I could be a little ditzy and I mean this man the pastor that we were watching he broke it down to like historical facts I mean he was just naming things and of course I knew um, information about the organization that I was in so when he was hitting on that I was just like okay he know you know what I mean like he know what he's talking about so when I actually watched it I was like okay and um, I was like, okay, cool. And I remember um, just meditating after I watched the video because I already knew where his mind was. <laughs> I really knew he was like, I'm done. Like he was like, this was just his. Um, it was like confirmation. The, the topping, for me. Like, yeah, yeah it the was cherry, like on cherry on top. Cherry on top, Because <laughs> Icing on it was the cake. It, it was done for him. But yeah. for me, I was just like, okay, God. But I remember honestly just hearing God like saying to me, it wasn't like you need to leave. The way he caught, um, communicated with me was, okay, now that you know this, how you going to act? Mm. And it was just simple like that. He Sometimes we put the ball in God's court. Yeah. And we want God to do it. But he puts it in our court because we have the free will to do what it is that we feel within our spirit to do, whether it's you know right mm. or wrong. Yeah. So um, he put it in my court. He like I'm like, okay, God, tell me what you want me to do. He's like, nope. Yeah. I'm putting it in your court. Yeah. Now you know this stuff. How you going at? And yeah. I remember just like, whew. yeah. And and I, I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, now if I stay in this um, organization, this sorority, I'm not going to have peace. Mm. And peace mm. is priceless. I knew for a fact that I like I was just fast forward to just you know going to schools and HBCUs or my home um, school, my alma mater. I mean. I would not have peace mm. and I was just like I, I couldn't deal I couldn't deal with that and sometimes you know um, we can delay our obedience and at this time of our lives I'm like listen I don't want to delay I don't want to be this I don't yeah. want to be delay my obedience by and and that by being a disobedient yeah. I was just like I, I, I'm not trying to play with God like yeah. And this is God dealing with me, and I'm like, I'm still like, okay, this is all going through my mind while he's at work. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember him coming in, and he was just, you know, like he said, he came in ready for me to leave as well. And I'm like, uh, uh, -uh that that that's not, you know, I don't feel that way. I was just trying to deny. That's like, your conviction. I, that's yours. Like, yeah. I, God didn't tell me to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't. Yeah. He didn't. He did not tell me to leave. You know what I mean? I was just like, no, that's just, that's you. You know, and then that was that night, and we had like a little rough. It was like, of course, we, we so holy. We like, we can't go to bed mad at each other. Right, right. So he, he went about his way. He went outside and got some air, and I'm in the house, and God, you know, I'm just like, I'm not like, listen, God ain't tell me to leave, you know, but at the end of the night, uh, at the end of the night, he kind of, you know, God deals with us and like, yes. like, it's a beautiful thing. Like he really separates us and deals with us. And then we come back together and we're like, all right, I'm asleep on it. Yeah. And the next morning we actually wrote our leather, our letters, excuse me. And we sent them jokers off and was like, we're going to do this together and we're not going to delay, um, the process me not because when we delay our, our decision that gives the enemy room to kind of convince us to, to to go against what God has told us you know God's voice seems to get put in the background the longer we wait to um, do what it is that we feel like God is leading us to do so did you so did you denounce because of me or no <laughs> or because you say God ain't tell you so right you know I, what, like where, I, where was it yeah, when I, God kind of showed you like how did God show you like Honestly, like like I said, when he when I finished the video, mm -hmm. he told me like it's in your court, and like I said, mm, my peace. Yeah. So my see, uh, yeah, that's good. So our, our yeah. whole our whole convictions are different because I started to look back 
and uh, of course just actually like hearing the historical knowledge mm -hmm. and reading the word and praying it all added up and i'm like god i don't want to withhold nothing and i don't want to put no god beside you yeah. i don't want to put nothing yeah. at the same level mm -hmm. as you and you know that's uh, the whole worship thing you know people can um masquerade it as oh i don't worship the sorority or fraternity but the thing is is that you know throughout the, the process you are pledging to mm. these sororities and fraternities mm. so I mean it's just things that you just know that you are putting at the level of, of God like like all of my love let's just put mm. it there I mean you say you're going to give your peace mm. your happiness to the sorority or the fraternity yeah. and I remember saying and like um for instance with the prayer for Troy that was the the song for me i will always replace it with jesus mm. my peace and happiness i'm going to give it to jesus yeah, yeah. and i remember saying that but i would still be with the, the girls and yeah. i'm like dang it's yo just the vibes. and, and <laughs> yeah you the know vibes. like yeah yeah so i mean little things like that and i mean i'm like i'm not trying to compromise yeah that at all like god has revealed this to me and i knew the prayer that i prayed and i was open to receive the answer yeah. like you know god I believe God sends messages to you. Yeah. So. so then the, the next um, the next major question would be uh oh, man, checking my mind. Whatever. Yo, the, 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 the when they say when they say in marriage like you, you can't have now? nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Everything like when I get sure. some food, she was like, you want some food? No. Nah, no, nah, that's good. real. She was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm and then as soon as I start eating, I get out to the last bite. She was like, can I have some? <laughs> no, you can't have that. that is real. That's real. He gets but, really um, mad about that's, that's real. Like, he really doesn't like me eating his food. I can't help myself. And I he's like, here, man. Here, dang. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> she was like, Lord, it was that woman you sent me. <laughs> All right. All right, Listen. what? Back on track, back on track. So the main, the, the, the major question then is um, like what was revealed in that video? Or what what was it mm -hmm, that God mm -hmm, revealed right. to us about the fraternity and sorority? Mm -hmm. You know, as to why we believe God don't approve of it. And, mm -hmm. and the, the simple answer is um, God kind of showed us well, not kind of. God yeah, showed what us. Did, what did God tell y'all yeah, to make y'all denounce? Yeah, God Bye. showed us that basically um, there's other gods attached to this. Spirits. These other spirits and, and other gods that are attached to gods with a lowercase g that are attached to these fraternities and sororities. You know, um, and, and ex gods or goddesses. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not a I'm not a Greek mythology scholar or, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm now, I'm a little, I know a little something, something you know. <laughs> I used to say, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I ain't dumb. I know a little something, something. But God kind of revealed to us that, you know, these these gods and goddesses are who you're pledging yourself to. Um, an example is um, with with um, um, the Deltas, they have Minerva. She's the goddess. The goddess of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, with, with Alpha, you have sphinx and you have um, Horus and and um, I forgot the other name but there's uh, there's gods that's associated with these fraternities and sororities yeah. um, Apollo and and Atlas and Titus and you know um, the if you look at the shields and all this stuff those there, there are symbols and there are, there are gods and goddesses that are attached to these things and God was basically saying to us you either serving them or you serving me and honestly, another little, I mean, little key things that you can just pay attention to, like when you see someone in paraphernalia, the shield is always over, over the, the left. Heart. Over the heart. It's always over the left. And it's mm. just like, it's over your heart. So, of course, the shield in which you are wearing represents everything about you and everything that you stand for. And, I mean, it's just, it was just like, okay, I, 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 I couldn't, couldn't continue to be in the organization when I'm just pursuing my 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 walk with mm -hmm. Christ because I'm like I'm singing I'm just singing these songs like God I want you and nothing else yeah. I'm surrendering everything withholding nothing yeah. you know what I mean and I didn't want to um you know have any type of um spiritual yeah. tie that God is like oh lord <laughs> hey what in the world? Let's continue. Oh, Lord. Thought I was going down, y'all. 
God. That's, I told you. <laughs> oh, our, oh, yeah. Yeah, I told you it was broke. Yeah. They, the screw fell out. <laughs> anyway, no spiritual tie. Point blank. No, no spiritual tie. But nonetheless, you know, um, that 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 was what was revealed to us um, about um, the sororities and fraternities. You know, what it was exactly like. What is it? I mean, yeah. I know we can kind of like beat around the bush, but the, the point of the matter is, is just that it is idolization. Did I say that right? Idolizing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Idols, you know, it's idolatry. 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 Idolatry yeah. and um, you know it's it's just um, very important. Yes, you have to test, test every, every spirit, yeah. and um, that's just my main thing. You know, just just going forward. You know, just testing the spirits of anything that I any person that I'm connected to. You know, now I'm going to be more like you know it's just a more of a dis um, discernment yeah. um, development um, in your faith walk. Yeah, and and with the spiritual implications, what God kind of and things are still being revealed today. Like when I say we don't know it all, we don't, you know. And 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 I think that's the beauty in faith. Like you know, you're trusting that you're hearing God's voice and God is revealing stuff to you. And when God tells you to share something, you do it. You have you to. know, like you have to because you, you don't know. I, I I oh I believe that there's people who um, God has revealed something similar to. And, and, you know, we'll ask God to reveal something to us. And when God will s reveal it, it's hard for us to accept it. Or it's hard for us to swallow because maybe we're holding on so tight to something where it's like, I can't let this go out. Or I can't let that go because I'm too deep in, yeah, it, I'm too deep in it. Or, yeah, you know, what yeah. people going to think about me, what my line sisters, what my line brothers going to think about me. Or because yeah. my parents, it's their legacy and they've been in it forever. True, true, so true, there's, true. there's a lot of pressures that come from it. Yeah. And I believe that God has already told somebody who's watching this video right now that, you know, you need to cut that out. And, and you're just like, well, how do I really do that? Do do you know, and, and it, it's going to take some courage. Yeah, it really tough. is going to take it's courage. Tough. Um, yeah. But with the spiritual implications, I, I was I was reminded of how you know what, when we was online, we was always told that everything has a meaning, everything and has you know a lot of being online was a lot of mental and psychological mm -hmm. stuff that, right. that right. was being played on you to basically try to get you to do something that you would do on your own, and um, you know I remember throughout the process there was a point. Through, throughout the ritual, there was a point where you were bowing down. You know, you were blindfolded, but you were bowing down. And there was a point where it was like, well, eat the foods of the gods. And it's just like, at the time, you were so far in, you're like, oh, I'm about to cross. You know, mm -hmm. so I ain't really thinking about, I'm, I'm, it's in the back of my mind, but I'm not about to just be like, oh, no, I'm out. I'm out. You ain't yeah. gonna walk like, out, paid, you know what I mean? I done paid my Money. two grand, I done paid, you know, I done paid all this stuff, I done sacrificed this time, I done studied, I done did all this stuff. I done come and, way too far and now, right. walk away. Right. What? You ain't gonna do that. You know, so, um, and then, but everything has a spiritual implication. Like you sitting, it's it was, scary. Yeah, like sitting it's in dark scary. rooms and and you sitting in silence, conjuring spirits up. Yeah, you know, like you oh. conjuring spirits up, and and you asking these fraternities and, and these sororities to give you wisdom or give you power or you saying things like Alpha Phi Alpha is the light of the world. You know, and mm -hmm. and that's contrary to what scriptures say. Of God. You know, and then I remember one. Um, I think. Um, during during the alpha session, there's like uh uh you they go through the Bible, and okay. yeah. So for me, I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, this, this, is good. this confirmed it right. for me because you know I'm like, yeah. And it was like they, I think they took something out of Ruth, the book of Ruth, where it was like, um, I'll always be with you, and that was where when it was Christ that was saying, mm. I'll be with you always or something like that. And but they they substituted Christ, and it was like That's Alpha hard. will okay. never depart you, like Alpha will always be a part of you. Something like that in, yeah. in the book of Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like substituting those things. But like you said earlier, all of my love, all of my love, my peace and my happiness, I will give to Alpha. Like, you know, and so that and then um, um, with the hint, like, listen to the language, y'all. Hymns. You got a hymn. You got a prayer. <laughs> you know, these things, these things are, are just not by coincidence. You know, um, and and spiritual foundation. Yeah, like spiritual foundation. Everything has a spiritual implication. Like 
you, you, you're, you, people, these are the questions that come from it. Well, you know, what about pastors and, and people who in the church that's in these things and they're highly successful? Yeah. Or, well, look at all the good that fraternities and sororities do. Yeah. And, well, this is the big that's, one. This, this, this is what people tell us. Yeah, yeah. this is the big one. Um, well, the fraternal is founded on Christian principles. Yeah, that's what and it's like, about. Yeah. Think about this for a minute. I can start an organization myself <laughs> on Christian principles, um, but not be Christian-based. So, there's a difference. Christian Break it down, sir. So, Christian principles is... Let's say, um, let's say I start something um, that are Christian principles. That means it was founded on the ideologies of, of Christianity. Christianity. And, and okay. the, the thoughts and stuff. And, okay, we want this to be, we want this to basically represent the same thing, Christian, Christianity. Right? Now, Christian-based is different. That means you're, you're basing everything that you do on the actions of Christ. You know, or you base everything that you do on the teachings of Christ. So there's a difference between um, mm. principles and being Christian based. Okay. Because I can start something with Christian principles and not be Christian based at all. Operate completely different. You know, and um, so it's just like, oh, well, the fraternity and sorority was founded on Christian principles. Well, well, is it Christian based? How come we never reference Jesus? How come we never say anything about Christ. How come our prayers is That's lifting up true. lifting up Alpha or lifting up Omega or lifting up Delta or lifting up Sigma or lifting up all these other things other than Christ. Why is it called the Divine Man? You know, like I, I feel like uh, Well you know, another thing is to um when when you study the the strategies of the enemy hmm. he takes a little bit of truth and makes it with lies. Hmm. To make it look as truth. So what he does is give us a little bit of truth to reel us in, disguise it, and make it seem like what you're doing is truth and what it is is so good. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's very important to know the enemy and how he works because he's not going to get you to worship him directly mm -hmm. because Ain't nobody did, gonna do that. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody just gonna be nobody, like, oh, nobody, yeah. I'm about, I'm a worship yeah. Satan. Now you exactly. got some people that Satan this, but ain't nobody. <laughs> I mean, gonna, not, not, not in the organizations that I knew, anyways. No, nah, I'm saying in the world, people yeah, that yeah, Satan yeah, right, this, right, like who right. worship Satan for exactly. a living. Exactly. So but, the, the the strategic thing of what the enemy does is that he has to reel you in. He's gonna do whatever he needs to do to reel you in. Yeah. And he's going to masquerade it as. Oh, this is good. He makes evil look good, and you know, or bad, or whatever. I mean, it's just uh, the 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 strategies of the enemy, yeah. and you know, he's not like I said, he's not going to get anyone to worship him in plain sight, you know, just directly. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he he has to you know put in a little bit of truth, you know, and and that's just um, I feel like that's where this whole Christian principle. Yeah. Um, thing comes into play you know um it's just so much deeper than what meets the eye yeah i mean you gotta basically it, research and do your own yeah you gotta research and ask god for yourself like god what, it, what if you need to reveal god can you reveal something to me and if, if and make sure that you're ready you right, know what i mean right, we, we, right. we just we don't want to you know try to push on you guys to our convictions and, um yeah yeah like yeah. we don't want to push on to you guys oh you well you need to do this or you need to talk to god or you know what i mean that's between you and god i mean if you actually sat here to watch this whole thing um you know something is within you um something pull to uh yeah to just hear um someone's testimony and that's all we're here to do and you know yeah that's that's just what we're here for yeah all right, so let's pray before the Lord. Let's pray. All right, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you um, again, Lord God, for just this time, Lord God, with with you, Lord. We thank you for just using us as your mouthpieces, Lord God. Yes. We pray that you just touch those who have been watching this video, Lord God. Soften their hearts and... Um, Reveal to them whatever it is that you have for them to see, Lord God. We thank you for just blessing us and just humbling us to just share our testimony, Lord God. 
giving us the strength and the courage to just stand with you, Lord God, because you are the almighty God, and we worship you and you alone. So we just give you all the glory, honor, and praise, and this is all for you, Lord God, and we just pray that you just bless those who have taken the time to watch this, and we just pray that you just continue to move in their lives, giving us the grace and the mercy that you have um, also promised us yes. each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank y'all. Right. Peace out. And that's a wrap.